Hello everyone. To welcome to another episode of Counterpoint Conversations. Today, we, uh, I am at the Controllers facility. I'm your host Varun Gupta, and today we have Mr. Uh, Shridhar Pina Pune Reddy, uh, founder, chairman, and managing director of Controllers Data Center. So, Controllers Data Center is a Asia Pacific's leading rated four hyperscale data center service provider, and with uh, over 250 megawatts of uh, operational capacity, right? And as the digital transformation, uh, you know, accelerates uh, across the industries in India and beyond, Controllers is rapidly expanding its footprint uh, footprint across India and uh, meeting the growing demand for secure and scalable infrastructure. Right. So in today's discussion, we'll be having Mr. Shridhar's view and insights over the evolving data center uh, economy in India and the opportunities shaping its future. So, sir, my first question to you would be: Controllers has been ex rapidly expanding its data center in india what factors are driving this expansion and how do you see the competitive landscape evolving thank you thank you varun yeah it's uh, good to have you right. here yeah. and uh, thanks for coming down to the opening of our chennai right. namma data center right. uh, this is a 75 megawatt facility um, and uh, two blocks about first one is about 45 and the rest 28 plus is in the in the second building uh, to answer to your question uh, you know what's driving the growth a i would say uh, the fundamental uh, differentiator of controllers uh, which is the rated four and uh, highest energy efficiency the company offers to its customers uh, plus the green energy solutions with the uh, our division green board aided by of course the whole industry growth which is driven by the cloud by artificial intelligence by you know mobile usage and you know so many tailwinds for the industry for this uh, whole digital revolution to be happening right and what do you think are the factors that will uh, like you know help india lead in terms of the growth in data centers as compared to its global counterparts i mean large part of this business is local demand so there anyway uh, but to to bring in the global workloads india uh, is already competitive i would say in terms of uh, infrastructure capabilities cost the overall vendor ecosystem trained manpower uh, we are now on par or better than 95% of the countries maybe one or two countries have a little bit an edge over india currently right and um, the oh, total cost of ownership also we are much lower uh, as compared to in asia pack we are definitely the most uh, competitive uh, place to for the for the industry to to grow uh, and what needs to be done probably you know making sure 100% green power is made available lower cost green power is available i think that's one thing that india needs to do and of course india needs to do was put the the diplomatic uh, relationships with a focus on ai has to be done a uh, lots happening in the uh, global politics and i think a, a, a bit of interest from the union government will definitely help right right so what are the key uh, uh, industries that you see will drive this demand for the data centers no as to while it was bfsi mm -hmm. um last 5 years it's cloud mm -hmm. next 5 years is going to be ai right right so uh, uh in terms of the data centers uh, you know uh, building a data center right so power availability and uh, uh, energy efficiencies are critical for data center operations right yeah. so what are the key challenges controllers face uh, in securing reliable and sustainable power in india and what are you doing as a company to address them no one reliability of the quality of power right, right? right. Uh, the that used to be the biggest challenge right so and we addressed it now <laughs> how did we address it is by building carrier grade substations which is 220 kv substation which even the chennai facility has we started that trend first time in the country by establishing a 220 kv uh, substation by doing a lilo from the you know on the on the state grid in in mumbai right and that kind of uh, removed all kinds of issues of uh, the power stability right now the power availability uh, is not much of a challenge uh, in india in general i would say uh, we are reasonably okay we, in terms of the uh, power availability the 
However, there is one challenge which is that of uh, green power availability. Right. Some states allow it, some states don't allow it. Each state has a lot of complications around it. Uh, so we are navigating those challenges. In Maharashtra, we built our first green volt uh, solar plant of 65 megawatt, which went live four months ago, second one under construction another 75 megawatt, another two to three months to go. However, there are serious regulatory you know, challenges around uh, navigating this. And I think uh, the, all the state governments which are focusing on uh, uh, this industry should work towards you know, eliminating those bottlenecks. Right, right. So uh, thank you uh, so much, uh, sir, for your valuable uh, conversation. Uh, just last question I would say is uh, how uh, Controllers as a company is preparing itself for the next generation of AI and cloud workloads? Not preparing, it's already prepared in right. the last five years. You know, how the AI industry is, uh, you know, shaping up, especially from the processor, from the infrastructure standpoint, cooling requirements. And we've been investing in R&D for the last three to five years. The current data center where you're standing now mm -hmm. is fully AI ready. Right. Already, the previous one before this in Kolkata is already for AI. Right. Our Hyderabad is AI ready, our Mumbai is AI ready. Our current data centers can take the workloads of even 200 kW per rack. Right. And we are ready with the liquid cooling technologies um, solutions uh, driving down the PV to even 1.15. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sridhar, for your valuable insights. Uh, I'm sure our watch, uh, viewers will be watching this space very closely. And for our viewers, thanks for tuning in. Meet you in the next one. Thank you.